What up, love bugs? It's your girl Pam. Thanks for stopping by here at Beauty Corner. It's been a while. Yes, I hope you guys miss me because I definitely miss you guys. I do apologize for the huge gaps between videos. It's really, really hard for me to do videos because I work six days a week. I'm sorry. And it's really hard to run all the errands that I need to run and then sit down and do videos and edit them and all that jazz. So I do apologize for that. But nevertheless, if I said that word right, trying to sound smart, let me just say, let's move on from that. Anyway. <laughs> Today's video, as you guys will know, um, is a requested video and it is a foundation review and it's on the Black Opal Even Even True or yeah, Even True. <laughs> That's a big short. I said that right. Because <laughs> I don't know this shit by heart. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but this is the Black Opal Even True Flawless Skin Liquid Makeup. Don't ask me why they call this liquid makeup. It's a freaking foundation. Just put foundation on the box. But here is the foundation. I purchased this at my local drugstore. I am not going to sit here in front. I was just like, I got the request for it and I knew I definitely was going to request it. Oh, um, I will leave the name of who requested it here, right here on the screen. But I literally had to go back in the comments and I was like, wait, I ain't never heard of this foundation before. Let me make sure, I get, let me make sure they got this joint in the store because if they don't, I definitely have to order it online. So I had to Google what this foundation looks like. So cross fingers, hopefully this is the um, correct foundation. I really hope it is. I really do. And if not, I'm really sorry and let me know if it's wrong in the comment section. But anyway, so here is the foundation. And again, I purchased this at my local drugstore and it retails for about $11.95 plus tax. It came to be $13. And for the $13, you get your typical one fluid ounce amount of foundation. Yes, don't be shocked about the size of this particular bottle, but your standard in any kind of bottle whether it be cream, I actually think cream is less than one fluid ounce, but any type of liquid form of foundation is always um, one fluid ounce, okay? So according to Black Opal, this particular foundation is ultra smooth, skin brightening, it helps improve, improve, let me, let me say that correctly, improve clarity for more even skin tone. It is an oil-free, fragrance-free formula, okay? And... What this is what this foundation is specifically supposed to do is it's supposed to give you pretty that what it says is even um, look to your skin without without adding any concealer without adding um, uh, color correcting to your face and and the imperfections that it would normally cover is you would say like rosacea if you want to consider that an imperfection rosacea hyperpigmentation dark circles acne scars all those things and if you have something that is not what i named it's just it's supposed to cover those um as well excuse me besides this foundation covering up all imperfections it starts off as a liquid foundation you'll see the reason why later on in the video why i'm giving it quotations but it starts off as a liquid foundation and sets into a velvety powdered texture to your skin so i would definitely say this is more uh combination to oily skin friendly if you have normal skin um, I would suggest this product for you definitely if you have dry skin don't even think about it this ain't for you it ain't for you I'm sorry I'm sorry it's just not but um <laughs> this is stated to be a medium to full coverage foundation um later on in the video you will definitely see what my opinions are if it is medium or if it is full coverage but I'm not gonna talk any more let's jump into the demonstration oh before i go into the demonstration i almost forgot i did purchase this color in truly topaz i depending on what the foundation is i tend to either go with rich caramel or truly topaz in this particular one i um am using truly topaz and in the true colors liquid one it's in that like that plasticky frosty uh, bottle i am 
truly topaz but in the cream foundation i am rich caramel moving on let's get into the demonstration okay so i'm gonna apply the foundation the foundation is very thick very moussey i like that so i'm just gonna dab a little bit onto the back of my hand it looks like it's a little darker than my skin tone which is fine right now i'm looking over here which is fine right now because it is going into summer and i do get very almondy so for right now this is okay this definitely has an olive undertone to it which i had expected because that's how um truly topaz is and like i mentioned before um i'm on the cusp of yellow and or golden and neutral um skin tone so right now this is okay I'm gonna go in with my crown brush this is the C439 deluxe buffer brush I'm just gonna buff this into the skin actually ooh wow mm. Ooh. Ooh. as you blend it out it looks actually a little too yellow I'm kind of shocked about that and it seems to be a little bit lighter as you blend it out you can see that it's a little bit lighter than my complexion which is fine because I actually have a foundation powder that is too dark my makeup forever foundation powder is too dark so it'll pretty much even out but so far the coverage is nice what do you guys think slightly lighter slightly light. like compared to my neck and stuff right here it's like really similar but my face is darker than the rest of my body so um yeah i don't know maybe this will be a perfect match i don't know so then take a little bit more just right here to cover my little blemish area but so far so good as far as uh, coverage goes okay guys so this is what the foundation looks like I applied only one layer to my face and just a little smidge a little bit more here in my problem area some of you may or may not know but I do have hyperpigmentation in my cheek area and that's due to being obese um, no matter how many layers of foundation concealer uh, color correcting it tends to just peek out um on camera i hope you guys are fine with that i have made my piece that those little imperfections peek out through my makeup again i use only one layer as you saw from the swatch that i had on my on my back of my hand excuse me it is a very thick creamy consistency they do describe on the back of the box of the foundation that it's a liquid i definitely I don't know is it's a liquid form but to me it's not super liquidy because it's so thick and creamy I would have definitely would have uh, described it more cream based than liquid but again they said that you apply it to your face and it's in a liquid form and it does set in a vel velvety powdered um, texture what I did was after I allowed it to settle just a little bit I did take my elf setting spray and I sprayed it to the um, my buffer brush and then I did buff it into my skin just so it can melt a little better okay on to my textured skin this is supposed to be an oil free product so let's cross fingers that it actually ho holds my oils at bay I do have I didn't mention this early in the video I did apply a primer I applied my milk um, milk makeup blur stick onto my face and then I set that with my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder so hopefully um, it'll hold <laughs> my oils at bay for a couple of hours but this is what it looks like on my face I am loving the coverage I love it regardless of my little imperfection showing I definitely love the coverage I think the color match is perfect because if I was to go a shade darker would have been too dark and if I wouldn't want a shade lighter it would have been way too light this kind of matches 
my neck and the rest of my body. But again, I'm gonna um, finish off my makeup. I actually have two places to go. I have to go to the supermarket and I have to return to dress at Target. So I'm gonna run some errands. Um, I'll probably document how my face looks <laughs> um, on my cell phone. And I will be back. Okay guys, so it's been about three hours since I applied the foundation to my face. I think it's around like two o'clock because I'm in my living room area and I can hear like my work alarm from my phone. My phone is on the charger, so it's around like two o'clock. Um, so far, so good. The foundation is looking really, really nice on the skin. It did settle in the fine lines just a little bit here, but again, it made me just may have been just me applying because I tend to like pl apply the foundation inwards and upwards so it could be just that or it's just settling into the fine lines of the mouth area I will definitely let you guys know at the end of the video if it in fact was just settling into the skin or just me um applying it towards my mouth which you should never do by the way but again it is looking good so far i do not see any oily spots here on my forehead i told you guys i usually get oily like in these areas right here before anywhere else on my face it's probably um not gonna show until like eight nine hours after because <laughs> sadly it's kind of cold here in new york when it's really not supposed to be but um yeah so so far so good i'm actually waiting for my mother and father <laughs> if they would hurry up so i can go do what i got to do um but um yeah so again i will document um, how the foundation looks outside when i finally leave but um yeah again so far so good i'm loving this wig y'all if y'all want to know anything about this wig let me know <laughs> i will tell you this wig is life but anyway <laughs> i'll be back okay guys so i quickly want to give you an update i'm sitting in the car getting ready to go it is 3 17 in the afternoon and this is what my face looks like in natural lighting okay so here it is okay no oil yet i am truly loving it out really quickly i want you to see you see my lines right here that's where the foundation settles in and for me to blend it out, I just have to go like this. It is definitely settling in. I'm going to have to apply the foundation on another time and not apply it here just to see um, if it's that or it's just the f foundation. All right. I'll be back in a few. Peace. Okay, guys. So I am back. It is now 636 in the evening. So I've had this foundation on for about, what, seven hours. I applied it around 11 o'clock. Um, and so far, so good. My makeup still looks <laughs> tight and on point. Um, I do not see any oils in my problem areas, which are here, around the nose, and in this area. However, the foundation has definitely settled into uh, my laugh lines where I tend to have to go like this to um, blend it out because <laughs> I'm not an old bitch. So, you know, <laughs> I don't want to look old. Um, but yeah. This is what the foundation looks like. I am loving it. Black Opal, you are really killing it with me with foundations. I already love your True Colors foundations, one of my staples. I do, um, you know, from time to time do wear the cream concealer one, the one in the stick. I'm doing this because it's in my pot. But in the stick, I do time from time to time wear that one. And I will definitely continue to wear this one i really really like it i hope i don't look too yellow from the viewfinder i look kind of yellow on camera but anyway um really really quickly i'm just giving my recommendations um i would definitely recommend this for someone who is oily skin to combination skin um the price point is okay you know black opal tends to be just slightly higher than a lot of other brands in the drugstore um this again cost me a little bit over $13 like $13.05 the foundation goes a, <laughs> a little bit goes a long way 
okay it goes a long way I had a little, little dollop on my on the back of my hands I want to say wrist this is my wrist on the back of my hands and it definitely provided enough coverage to my face so again a little bit does um, go a long way I do not recommend this for dry skin however if you are oily uh, not oily skin if you are normal skin and you want to take that chance go for it um, it might work out for you uh, what else do I have to say about this foundation not much this is just a really good foundation and I definitely give it a thumbs up one thing I did want to say I didn't mention in the beginning of the video I do like the packaging I do like that it's really small and compact because it's something you can just throw in your bag or it's definitely travel friendly sometimes when you're traveling and you have like these really like intricate foundation bottles and they're glass or they're just like something that you're just kind of like eh, 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 about traveling with this is something that is definitely travel friendly but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what a girl like, loves, and adores. Show a girl some love. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys.